Life cycles of organisms are often linked to seasonal changes and also to other species' life cycles. The Atlantic horseshoe crab is a good example. Hey, come on down from Canada in May or June to Delaware Bay, especially at high tide, to see this crab's annual breeding orgy. Males outnumber the females. She burrows into the sand to lay her eggs six to eight inches deep, and the males fertilize them. The genus Limulus is nearly 158 million years old. It thrived for millions of years, and Linnaeus named it Limulus polyphemus after one of the cyclops. 20th century humans began harvesting millions for fertilizers, feeding to hogs and for bait. This has abated, but some humans still will eat crab eggs. Now a new threat is the extraction of their blue blood for our medical purposes. Each year the limulus bleeding industries tap hundreds of thousands of horseshoe crabs for their amoebocytes used to detect toxins. The purified product is called LAL, short for Limulus Amoebocyte Lysate. Horseshoe crab eggs are food for birds like the red knot. This bird is one of the longest migrators and timed with the crab mating. They arrive on the east coast. Crossing from South America to a U.S. nonstop is an amazing feat for such small birds. They need a lot of food to refuel on their way to northern breeding grounds. The plunge of horseshoe crab populations also threatens the red knots. Visiting the DuPont Nature Center, we found a team of researchers studying the red knots, blood samples, fecal samples, so what I want to collect is the solid mass in there. And weights were collected. That's, that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Just, um, a of Hopefully, a substitute for LAL will soon be developed to take this terrible pressure off their populations. There is hope. You probably can't remember when a rabbit was sacrificed to detect if a woman is pregnant. Maybe you can be the scientist that devises the alternative.